Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to talk about popliteus tendonitis or tendinopathy, where it is, how to test for it, okay? So the popliteus tendon starts at the lateral femoral condyle and it migrates inferiorly and medially and attaches to the posterior medial part of the tibia, okay? So what it does is it helps to unlock the knee uh, when it's in full extension, so it helps to get it to this point. It's also a tibial internal rotator, all right? So the way I like to test this is I put the patient flat on their back. If they're having discomfort here, um, there are many structures that can cause pain here. Your hamstrings come along here. Um, the the popliteus has some fibers that attach to the lateral meniscus. So if you had a meniscus tear, that could cause some irritation but this can help kind of isolate it a little bit. Um, so what I do is I have the patient flat on their back like this. I have them turn the foot into my forearm. So go ahead and turn it into my forearm just like that and now try to bend the knee at the same time. So if they do that and they get significant pain in this posterior lateral corner over here, I need to be suspicious that they may have a popliteus injury of some sort, a popliteus tendonitis or tendinopathy. The other way we can do this is place the patient at 90 and 90, hold the heel, internally rotate the foot a little bit, and I'm gonna have her hold it here, and I'm gonna to try to turn the foot out, okay? And so she's giving some internal rotation and contracting the popliteus, and again, we're looking for discomfort on that lateral side of the knee, posterior lateral especially, and that could be an indicator of a popliteus injury. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.